back, you want to be able to see this. One pendulum, another pendulum on top of it. Okay, I can start the energy off in one pendulum and kind of boring. It's actually beating here, it's not resonant beating. This doesn't look real dramatic. That's not why we had this built. Okay? We had it built for this reason. You can go over the top and look what happens. <laughs> <laughs> you can try to guess what it's going to do, and you won't be right. It, it looks random. It's not random. It's called, what is it called? You've all heard the word. Chaos. This is chaos. Now, no, this is scientific chaos, okay? It has a specific definition, actually. It looks random, but it's actually what we call deterministic. If I release this in the same way twice, it will, um, it will do exactly the same thing. There's no, there's no, it's not, ideally it's not random here. But the problem is this, or the interesting thing is this. Let me release it from rest here and pick up on something particular about the motion. Let's see. Okay, what I saw there was, it didn't, except at the end there, it didn't really go around, it didn't do much. It just kind of went like this, it didn't really spin around fast. Now let's do it again. S approximately the same initial conditions. You see it do that? See that? This is called extreme sensitivity to initial conditions. You change the initial condition just a little bit, and in a, a few seconds later, the motion is completely different. And that's actually the hallmark of chaos. And it's actually treated as the definition of chaos. But this is actually chaotic. It's erratic motion, but it's not due to random fluctuations. It's, it's actually chaos. deterministic. It's chaos. Thank you. 